Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out a little technique I use sometimes when I want to create some custom light streaks in my videos. So let's check out what it looks like. As always on every future tutorial, I give away one free version of my ultimate effects pack. You can check it out in the description down below. All you have to do is drop a like and a comment on this video and I will randomly select a winner. So the winner of my last tutorial contest is John Bear with the comment, real dope video, nice channel bro. So I'm going to reach out to you in the comment section and let you know. So now that we're in Premiere, we're going to start working with this clip right here. First things first, you're going to want to hold Alt or Option on a Mac and drag that video clip up to duplicate the layer on top. Once you've duplicated the layer, go to the Effects tab and type in Mosaic and drag on Mosaic to your top video layer. You're also going to type in Directional Blur and drag on Directional Blur to your top video layer. Now go back to the Effects Controls tab, making sure your top video layer is selected and change the Blend Mode under Opacity to anything like Color Dodge. Now you can start to play around with this, but check it out. This is kind of how we're going to create our light streak. So if we start changing around this a little bit, you'll notice that we'll get some interesting effects. So I'm going to just drag this around until I get something that I like and then start messing with the directional blur. The directional blur will basically blend all of those sharp lines so you won't get those lines anymore but honestly you'll have to play around with um, different vertical blocks and horizontal blocks to see what is going to work with you because once you get something really nice you can start to blend that out and you'll have your very own light streak. So playing around with this whole mentality, if you click sharp colors, it'll actually make the light leak pop a little bit more and kind of make it a little more contrasty. Also, you can change the direction of your light streak and honestly the length or the intensity, whatever you want to do by messing around with directional blur. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you can also keyframe your horizontal and vertical blocks to get some really unique and interesting effects just like so and then drag those to the end and the beginning and then play back through it. So as you can see, we're going to get some flickers going on because our mosaic is changing. And as the mosaic is changing, the lower the number is on your mosaic, like with your horizontal and video blocks, the more flickers you will actually have. Something like that. So that's kind of a unique effect that you can do. Keep playing around with this because as you saw in the beginning examples, this one right here had a lot of flickers because I was simply keyframing the horizontal and vertical blocks. And also keep in mind that if you ever want to, you can change your direction of the light streak by changing the direction on directional blur so you can match it with the lines on your video or just make it vertical or something like that to change honestly what your image looks like but hopefully you learned something today and if you did please let me know down in the comments below as always hit that like button and i'll see you next time